the message here is we have to salvage our children. You know, we see the way they dress, they keep forgetting that Nigeria, we are beautiful. The moment you can see what they showcase on the stage, I said we are fashionable, we see what is going on. You know, we are not having a Met Gala and everyone, their nakedness is just everywhere. And the men are well clothed. So we have to do something. Tell them the way it is. We don't accept nakedness in our culture. They, that, that is not beautiful. It's not beautiful at all. And they are all beautiful girls. But they should be confident to know they are. They don't want to be like, even they are mimicking and trying to uh, emulate film stars from America. They don't know where they come from. Why did uh, Megan come here looking for Africa? That is something we have to take home with. We know who we are and don't lose who you are. God bless you. Hello and welcome. This is Majesty Sussex Report. I'm Antonio. And thank you for being here. Thank you for hanging out and spending some time here with us. Now, I am here because I wanted to update the video um, that I did earlier today, um, a respectful response to the First Lady. So. The, the, the recent remarks made by the First Lady of Nigeria and the subsequent sort of in, in interpretations and misinterpretations sur um, surrounding them, um, you know, I, 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 I wanted to sort of, because there have been lots of discussion ab about it. And I, when I received new information or there was, there was new um, insight into something. I, I want to bring it to you immediately um, to make any sort of clarification, so you you can you can you know come to your own conclusions. Now you heard at the beginning of um, this this video um, the audio uh, of what the first lady said. So I, I had the good fortune of listening to another content creator in the this this space um supporter of harry and, and megan and uh, um she is nigerian I, i'm not saying her name or anything because i didn't <laughs> i didn't ask um for per, uh, permission so i'm not sure she want she would want me to um say it but if by any chance she wants me to i will gladly mention um and promote her channel in my next podcast so her interpretation was very different and being nigerian also she said the first lady did not mean anything bad or harmful or anything like that at all she said the people who actually took what the first lady said misinterpreted and it's been spread in all this nonsense are the derangers they're the ones who took what the first lady said and made the assumption that she was actually talking about the way Megan dressed. So what what um, this fellow content creator sort of summarized um, basically and said, the, 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 the first lady was just implying at the end there that why why did Megan come to Africa basically right she came to Africa to discover her her roots to to know who she, who she, uh, who she is right um, you already know who you are you didn't have to go anywhere to discover who you are so don't lose it so that's what she is saying this is the, the true interpretation so the first lady pri prime primary message emphasizes the importance of cultural um, preservation and maintaining a strong sense of identity among Nigerian youth. She expresses concerns over the influence of Western culture 
um, particularly in fashion and urges young Nigerians to um, appreciate and uphold their cultural heritage. Her comments about modesty um, and the way people dress are directed towards, I guess, the, the, the broader cultural trend of mimicking Western fashion, which she um, perceives as um, incompatible with Nigerian cultural values. Um, she contrasts the Western fashion uh, exemplified by events like the Met Gala with traditional Nigerian standards of modesty. Now, here is where I think um, this big misunderstanding kind of happened. Why also, like, I, I went, when, when I heard it, I went, what? And I think a couple of things um, came together in order to create the perfect storm. First, we had the derangers who have been on this drumbeat when Meghan and Harry were in Nigeria, just continuously talking about her clothing. Oh, she's dressing appropriately. Oh, this about her clothing. Oh, she should cover. Oh, 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 all this stuff, right? So we already have that kind of built up that that these these people, right, just kept this intense critique about what she was wearing. Now, the tour has gone, well the, well, the visit has gone fantastically. There's, we were still talking about it as of yesterday. Everyone still in, 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 in celebration mood because it, it, it went so well. Then this whole thing came about and everything seemed to take, you know, a left turn. So number one is all, what the derangers were saying. So mo most of us already have our backs up a, a, a little bit, ready to be in defense mode. And then the way, and with all due respect, and, and, and I'm, I'm saying this out of respect completely, um, the way in which the, the first lady delivered that speech and how these things were put together and then Megan's name was dropped at the end, one could easily make the assumption or associate because she didn't clarify, right? And, and I mean, that's why I, I'm saying, you know, misinterpretation. I didn't want to say misin, misin translation, but it's, it's a misinterpretation because one could easily easily i think come to the point that a lot of us came to and because first she starts to talk about um culture right and then she talks about modesty and you should be dressed a certain way and then she brings in you know um western and you know, actress, not actress, but, 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 but Western entertainers or actors. Then she talks about the Met Gala. So all of that seems to be a little bit of a dig towards M Megan once she dropped the name Megan. Because if she had gone through that entire speech and never said Megan, it, 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 it would mean nothing to any of us. But because we already have, as I said, this sort of um, defense mechanism up because of the, the Rangers and their continuous barrage of, of um, racism and criticizing what Megan wore. Then here we have a speech that seems to be, right, um, talking about how Nigerians are not... Um, dress in the way that is expected. They're not showing the modesty that they're supposed to. And nakedness, that's, this is not a thing in Nigeria. That, that, it's, it's a thing for basically um, them over there, right? The people who were the Met Gala or these Westerners. And then she goes into, you know, you know who you are, right? Um, but then the sentence where she where she go, where she where she where she mentions Megan when she said why did Megan come here looking for Africa? So it's like, what do you mean you don't know? Like, 
Megan went there for these reasons. But the way it was said, and because it was introduced at that very end, after all this other pre-stuff was, was, was said, it's easy to make the assumption that there was a there was a sort of a dig or a reference to Megan, right? Now, then then she said after, why did Megan come here looking for Africa? That is something we have to take home. So it was sort of like the way that was said. The interpretation was like, what do you mean something you have to take home? So now, if we take everything together under the assumption now because she mentioned Megan that everything she said before mentioning Megan she's referring to Megan and then using Megan as an example by mentioning Megan by name then you know one is left going hey hang on a minute <laughs> why would you do that right and then seeing all of the the, the Twitter sphere and, and everything else just pack inundated with the Rangers saying, you see, the First Lady of Nigeria agrees with us, basically. So, I mean, that is why I said what I said in my first um, response, because I didn't want to attack the First Lady. I didn't want to um, make it guttery or anything to that sort. I wanted to to keep it... At, at what really matters. And what matter was because if I interpret it the way most of us interpreted it, to me then it, it would say or indicate to me that, well, she doesn't seem to have a, a grasp on why Megan and Harry were actually in Nigeria. And also going back to the whole thing, well, why did Megan come looking for Africa? I'm like, Come on, you, you you should know. Like they were invited by the chief of defense, so that is why my whole thing was to sort of um, bring forth. Well, this is why they were there. These are the things that they do. These these are the people that you don't seem to know who they are. So I'm going to introduce you to them. But also the critique from me was: please don't use Megan as a scape as a scapegoat. Right for any kind of cultural um, uh, issue about how people are um, are dressing these these days because it's not fair. So I think my my response, based on my understanding, was a fair one. I think it was re um, re respectful. I, I apologize if if anyone thought it wasn't. Um, and I'm giving this up this update now um, to say that based on what that um, content creator said and her interpretation, now that I'm able to read this and listen to it based on that new information, I'm able to actually go, hmm, okay, I, I can see it now, right? I mean, excuse me, it would have been beautiful and avoided a lot of things if if the first lady had sort of continued and given an explanation, right? If she had said, why did Megan come here looking for Africa? She came looking for her roots. She came looking for, for her identity. You don't have to go looking for yours. You're already here. You know who you are. Don't lose who you are. Now that would have been it, it would have given us context, but without that second part, for most of us, right? Um, I shouldn't say for most of us. For me, I was like, why are you, why did you just drop Megan's name into, I don't get it, right? Like, I didn't get it. I, I just kept going, okay, so now my assumption is that all this other stuff you just said, you're trying to, you know, do a little dig at Megan. And what do you mean, why did she come to Africa? Right, because without that other interpretation, I, I would have not, I'm gonna be honest, I would have not gotten it. I would have thought, you know, what I thought originally. So that's the update. Um, ah, gosh, I'm telling you, it is, 
it's 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 interesting you know because we we are very suspicious of 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 so much right because we know what those people are capable of doing and and the reach that they have and you know we are very vigilant in regards to things that are said because this couple has been just bombarded over and over and over, right? And we don't want that for them. And this 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 visit to Nigeria went so extraordinary well. And it was sort of this 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 moment of celebration and happiness for so many of us because we we're like, okay, great. It went well, everything is fine. You know, the racist back in that island, they can stay there and be all huffy puffy. We don't care. And then this drops, right? And we're like, ah, oh, come on, right? So, all right, that's it for now. Take care, folks.